Hey y'all, it is me, it is Mark. Welcome back to the house on Avery Road. Today is Kombucha Part 2. Now I know it's been a long time since we did Kombucha Part 1, but if y'all can go back and watch that video, that's about making your initial kombucha. And that kombucha, if you follow me on social media, if you follow me on Facebook or something like that, you'll know that that kombucha, I forgot about it. Well, I kind of had a heart attack and then forgot about it. And it turned into kombucha vinegar. That's okay. Now I'm fully stocked on kombucha vinegar. But I put on another one the other day, another kombucha, and here it is. It's ready for its flavoring and to be bottled. And I've got some bottles here. And what I did, I just got the bottle, kombucha bottles from the store that I used to buy, and I saved them with these lids. So that's what I'm going to bottle them up in. And we're going to talk about flavoring and seasoning. Now, y'all, I filmed a video the other day for y'all. But I lost every bit of the footage, so I went to edit it, and all the footage was gone. I was going, where's my video? I do not know. Um, but anyway, I've got some water boiling here. I'm going to get ready to make some more tea, because once I flavor this and put it in the jars, I'm just going to go ahead and start another round. But if you want to see how I start a round of kombucha, go back and watch Kombucha Part 1. So I'm going to get this tea made, and then we're going to start flavoring the kombucha that we have. So... I'll see you in just a second. Okay, let's flavor some kombucha. So I'm gonna take this off. Y'all come over here and look. Look at this gorgeous SCOBY on top. It is beautiful. So I've washed my hands. So I'm gonna take out my SCOBY. So pretty. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Now, I'm going to take that SCOBY and I'm going to reserve about a cup of the liquid. A little bit more than a cup probably. But a, a cup's all you need. This is one and three quarter cups. So I'm going to pour that in there on the SCOBY. So yeah, so about a cup. Okay. That's a cup. Now we're going to put this aside because this is what we're going to need to do the next batch of kombucha. So I'm gonna put this right over here. Now, I have got in here, down here, this is the SCOBY that I started with. So I don't need this SCOBY. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm actually just gonna throw this SCOBY into my garden. I'm gonna, I'll just bury it in the soil and it will, it'll, do really good in the soil. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pour off this kombucha. There we go, and we're gonna start the flavoring process. So I need, hold on, I need a paper towel. Dry my hands. Um, oh, and today I got something in the mail and I'm so excited because I'm fixing to start my peppers for this gardening season coming up. And um, I got my six thing, my six trays in today. So we can start some peppers. So that's good. So right here, I love ginger. So what I've done is I've peeled some ginger and I'm just gonna throw a few knobs of ginger right in here because I love ginger kombucha. We're gonna do ginger pomegranate. So I got some of this pomegranate juice today. I'm gonna pour just a little bit, not much. Don't even ask me how much, just about that much. Into here. And now I'm gonna load it with this. And then we're gonna put a lid on it and let that carbonate. But I'm also gonna put a couple of raisins in here because the yeast and bacteria, the yeast needs sugar to create the carbonation. So just a couple of raisins will give enough sugar to do that. There may be enough sugar in the pomegranate, but I just, I just want to add a little bit more sugar. So here we go. Pouring this up. Now, I don't drink as much kombucha in the winter time as I do in the summer because in the summer it is so refreshing 
over some ice. It's just so incredibly good. Okay, a little bit more. Look, y'all, and I, I tasted this earlier, and it's the perfect tartness versus sweetness. It's absolutely perfect. So, okay, there we go. There's that. Let me get a lid. Oh, no. Raisins. Oh, raisins. Thank you, Winner, for reminding me of the raisins. Because the raisins really won't do anything but add a little sugar. And they'll they'll poof up y'all, they'll get huge. So there's about four raisins in there. Alright. Put the lid on here. And now we're gonna let this go until it gets good and carbonated. And I'll show y'all. The carbonation after I'm gonna let it sit for about uh, two days and we'll show you the carbonation. Gosh, how pretty is that, y'all? Look, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, that right there. I'm gonna continue with these bottles doing the exact same thing. Okay, so I got this big one. I'm not sure how much this is. It's just like the big kombucha that you can buy at the store. Um, I got that one, and I got three of the individual serving kombucha bottles. So, I'm going to let those sit there for two or three days. Then I'm going to check the um, carbonation on them. I'll open them up and check them. And they'll get really good and carbonated. And you've got to watch out, because once they get really good and carbonated, you can actually look at these lids and... I've seen them actually bow up, and you know it's got a lot of pressure in it, so you want to you wanna release that. So, now, when you release that carbonation, if it's really carbonated, it'll bubble up a whole lot. I've learned that lesson. But, so I've got these, i got this one big one and three small ones, and now, I'm going to come over here, and I just put the sugar, I made this tea, I just put a cup of sugar in this tea, and I'm going to put it in my jar right here and we're gonna make another run of kombucha so this is the mother well no this is our sweet tea right here oh. and the sugar hadn't quite dissolved so I'm gonna stir it up a little bit in this pot because I put this pot outside and it's cold outside so it hadn't really dissolved a lot but we're going to stir this up really good. There we go. And now we're going to pour in the cup of kombucha. And there's the SCOBY right there. So I'll pour it in that. And now remember, if you've not went back and watched the other video, please do that. I'm going to link that in the description. But this is some more distilled water because you don't want to use chlorinated water. So we're going to pour this in here. And this is going to make another gorgeous gallon of kombucha. So, thank you all for joining me here today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment box, subscribe to the channel, um, ring the notification bell so you get notified every time that we post a video. Look for some more videos coming out very soon. I'm so excited that I'm about to start my peppers and things for the, the spring garden. We're going to be working some in the garden. It's going to be fantastic. So come on with us. And until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye! Bye!